Hey guys, Remote Animation here and in today's video I'm going to be running you through the basics of using the mobile app Prisma 3D which can be used for modeling, animating, VFX and many other things. After installing and opening the app, we should have an empty menu just like this. And this is the empty space where all our projects will be displayed once we actually have projects. And these are all the app settings where these two are basically the most important features here but we'll come back to that later. And to create our first project, we go back to the main menu and click on the plus button at the bottom of the screen. By default, the scene is set to modeling mode which is what we're going to be toiling on today. And the basic camera controls are actually really simple as you use one finger to rotate around the fixed point and you use two fingers to move the camera around without reference to any fixed point. To bring things into your scene, you use the preset button which is the button at the top left of the screen. And when you click on this, you'll find a bunch of shapes to select from or whichever you select will appear at the center of the scene. To move objects around in your scene, you make sure the object controller is selected and the object is also selected. Then you drag any of the present arrows along those axes to move the objects. There are a few options that can be used with objects, one of them includes the hide button which we can use to temporarily remove objects from scenes. And when we need them back we can easily use the unhide button to bring them back. The next option is simply for naming objects. The next option there is the copy option which we can use to duplicate objects. To use the multi-select tool, there are actually two ways to do this. First, you can touch and hold any part of the screen. Then once the check mark appears on the objects tab, you can select any other object of your choice and it will be selected as well. Then the effect of any option or tool you use will apply to all the selected objects. The next option is the group and it basically creates an invisible parent object for whatever object the tool was used on. Or in this case, using the multi select, you can group multiple objects together. The object tab is basically like a hierarchy and the cubes only move along with the group because they are under the group in the object tab. And if we take one of these objects out of the group, they will no longer function as one with the group. 